Welcome to the Oromo Pavilion. We are Oromos, a people with great gifts and talents, contributing to the economy, culture, politics, and the history of our multicultural society. We give thanks to the indigenous stewards of this great land on which we live, work, and joyously sing and dance on. And we thank Canada for this opportunity. We are descendants of the Oromo, a vibrant ancient indigenous people of Africa. Oromos are the largest ethno-linguistic group in the Horn of Africa and the second largest in the whole of Africa. Oromos are people spread across several national and regional colonial boundaries. While they inhabit several neighboring countries, 50 million Oromos live in Ethiopia. That is much larger than the Canadian population of 38 million. Oromos are renowned for the Gada system. Gada is an indigenous democracy that Oromos developed and practiced for many centuries, long before the Western nations thought of democracy. Gada has a parallel, Sinke. Sinke is an institution of Oromo women that honor women's way of life and protects women's right and well-being. A major expression of our cultural identity is the indigenous Oromo Thanksgiving festivities of Eritrea. Watin naga jinne, watin naga jinne, war naga jinne, biji naga jinne. Which is celebrating annually both in the homeland and around the world. Please come and join us and let us enjoy the rich variety of rituals, dances, and flavored foods of this amazing festivities. Both Gada and Eritrea are now UNESCO's intangible heritage of humanity. The Oromo's homeland, Oromia, is the most fertile and bountiful land considered the breadbasket of the entire region. Most Oromos are agriculturalists and pastoralists. Oromia is home to a rich variety of animals, crops, fruits, and vegetables. Oromos boast of exquisite cuisine. Come enjoy delicious and flavorful Oromo dishes. Come and enjoy the incredible diversity of the vibrant Oromo cultural dances. Oromia is also incredibly rich in natural resources, like natural gases and minerals such as gold, silver, platinum, emerald, and uranium. Oromos enjoy beautiful weather moderated by the breathtaking scenery of waterfalls, rivers, lakes, mountains, plateaus, and lowlands on the both sides of East African Rift Valley. The beauty of Oromia is matched by the beauty of its people, who are all known for their generosity, kindness, enthusiasm, and passion for justice. Oromos have given the world many famous people, including renowned scientists like Gebisa Ejeta, who won the World Food Prize in 2009, and world-class athletes like Ababe Bikela, the famous marathoner who ran barefoot and won the very first African gold medal at the 1960 Rome Olympics. Oromos speak Afan Oromo, a language with wonderful varieties of dialects. They enjoy a rich diversity of culture, religion, ecosystem, and natural resources, like plenty of waterfalls producing hydroelectric power. The bulk of Oromia's export is coffee, hides and skin, chats, pulses, and oils. Its national parks boosting a stunning variety of a wildlife, which are huge tourist attractions. An incredible rich variety of rare birds found nowhere else on earth makes Oromia a paradise for bird watchers. Oromia's spectacular beauty of the Sof Omar Cavern is among UNESCO's world natural heritage. Oromos believe that coffee is their invention and their gift to the world. Indeed. Coffee used to grow wild in the thick forests of Oromia before it was tamed. Any doubts that Oromo invented coffee? Just look at their beautiful coffee ceremony and the ancient sacred tradition of Bunagala, which translates to slaughtered coffee. One slaughters animals, how do you slaughter coffee? Slaughtering coffee shows the sacrifice of a sacred object to connect to the divine and blessings in the ceremonies. 
Coffee is a sacred object for Oromos, much like cocoa and quinoa are for indigenous people of Central America. As we wind up this brief overview on Oromos, we invite you to experience for yourself the variety of displays in the Oromo Pavilion. Please enjoy the rich diversity of our delicious flavored foods, amazing cultural dances, and colorful clothing. We hope to see you for next year's Heritage Festival.